What's up, everybody? My name is Miguel Raz, and we're going to talk about some Julia memes today. Raise your hand if you're on the Julia Slack. <laughs> Condolences. All right, next. Uh, this is uh, this is a uh, love letter to all my online friends who are as extra as I am and so willing to get per to go perf junkie on anybody else's playground. Let's go. All right, so there's a Slack thread that is 1,224 message is long, at least it used to be. I am now posting to the Gripes channel, only post to it during this Juliacom presentation, and let's never speak of this again, all right? So, um, Jerry uh, Ling posted, this is nine months ago, all right? It was still going after six months, please. And then, I really don't know what jobs you guys have, but can you please refer me? I want to join. And Gabriel says, I watched Julia build. So, <laughs> not untrue. Um, what was the, so first of all, this is a Slack that, that was set off because somebody put a public benchmark online. I will be the one throwing stones living in a glass house. So before you come for my friend Nicholas here who published this, who deserves all the praise and round of applause, let me be let me put my hand into the fire and say, I've been there, right? I've been there and said, hey, what's up? Julie's super good at adding up a hundred thousand integers or something. And then Ken Fisher very kindly says, no, it does not do that. It just does the Gaussian addition formula. It's like three instructions. That's why you only get two nanoseconds. And I got to be corrected in private before I post it in public. So uh, what was the actual benchmark? Um, this is what that repo was. It was a guy just trying to learn different programming languages, set up their dev containers, was really nice about it. And then all of a sudden, the Julia people came and completely ran over the playground with all of the enthusiasm that probably shouldn't have happened, all right? <laughs> Um, this is, I couldn't get an image from before because it was a bit hard to like mine it. This is kind of what it looked like at some point. Like Julia wasn't doing too good. Go and Nim were at the very top. Like there's, there's all sorts of like weird choices that happen. We'll go over it. But what I want to highlight is that um, this is how we started. All right. There was some other stuff. It was just straight up timing Julia, opening the file, running a global loop, not even JIT compiling, all of the footguns that people who are beginners to numerics would make that you or I would have made on our first day of learning these things. But this person put themselves out there. Um, so spicy take time, right? This person put themselves out there. They made a repo. They actually went so far as publishing a YouTube video so that people who would know how to contribute to the benchmark. So my spicy take is that whoever is willing to share their code openly contributes more to the actual scientific spirit of our times than anybody else who just is, uh, oh no, I love, yeah, who has not shared their work about brand new kinds of physics since like 20 years ago. So if you know any grandmas that share cooking recipes, they're basically embody the scientific spirit more than a guy who may or may not have spoken to Julie Khan yesterday. <laughs> All right, so this guy actually went online, posted a public video and said, hey, if you want to help out, this is how you do it. He made a whole tutorial about it. So round of applause for Nicholas, please, because, <laughs> you know, if you come for him, you got to come for me first. All right, so what actually happened? Uh, let's get into the perf core. This is the kind of stuff that people would enjoy looking at after a thousand Slack messages at some point, right? <laughs> Just beauty, beauty, you know. We got sign integers, the floating point, we got all the Cindy registers, those things in angle brackets, all of this. It, it's not gonna make any sense. I, don't, I make no attempts at trying to summarize 1,000 messages in Slack. I'm just picking out the highlights and having fun here. Um, Michael Abbott says, oh yeah, we can just do a one-liner and beat like all of the other languages in the benchmark at some point. That was pretty cool, right? And then we get to go, oh, right. Unfortunately, it doesn't SIMD. And then people would go back again after SIMD. That wasn't the important dynamic. The important dynamic was that when people would get a new Eureka like every three weeks and revive the Slack thread, right? And kept re-zombifying and killing it over time. And it would just not die. We would, there would be pleas of mercy recurringly for people to be let go from the notification hole that is Slack, all right? Um, if anyone has time to set this up, could you please help me with the sign vector? This was a gnarly optimization that Michael also came up with. Jerry Ling obviously commented, oh my crap, oh yeah, holy crap, it's two times faster, works with static compile, go, 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 let's try and get that in, right? There were multiple pull requests that this person accepted. When we ran out of Julia code to optimize, we went and pull requested for the Fortran and C++ codes because they weren't using our optimization, so why not, right? We just started, we ran the playground, no? Um, all right, this is the moment to do something that we haven't done enough at JulieCon. There is not enough 
you know, naming and shaming of evil code. So I want everyone to participate in the first public JuliaCon code exorcism. There is <laughs> among us a sinner who will be named. <laughs> Dear viewer, this is Mose Giordano. Mose Giordano submitted the following pull request. Uh, it's a diff, and so I'm not gonna show it, but if you can see that code, it says, oh, f of one just returns a double. That happens to be pi. Julie likes the useless loop. This was completely cracked the benchmark. Mose was so clever, they came up with a constant time algorithm, <laughs> which is this. Please. This. So, let's bask in the evilness here. Something is happening with my VS Code that is actually letting you know that something tricky is happening. From the giggles, some people might know what's happening. <laughs> Mose defined this pi, you know, did some math on it, but returned float pi. If you happen to know anything about homoglyph attacks, there's a pi already baked into Julia, but that's not the P from pi. That's a Unicode character letter that looks like it. So you can just return the pi and Julia will say, oh, you didn't use this loop. So I want everyone in this room. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Everybody point to Mose Giordano. <laughs> and now we say it together, evil be gone. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Um, Thanks. And so the end of the benchmark was something like this. It's, it, it got all garbled up with the input. But, you know, at the middle of the top, you know, stack, there's a Julia AOT compiled, and they're all within, like, performance uh, benchmarking noise of each other. So we did it. We, we, we did the numbers. What's up? And then there's just a long tail of other languages that you know didn't hit the SIMD optimizations, and so they're like 2x faster or whatever. And then there's a long tail of wannabes who can't run like Julia does. So congrats. I love you, people. Thank you, Julia community. You rock. Uh, you are crazy, and I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Mughal, for the wonderful I will not be taking questions. I'll be taking confessions, Mose. <laughs> Awesome, thank you.